Hi, have you ever asked yourself how you can make your watercolor paintings waterproof? Today I'll tell you how. As you know, water paintings or watercolor paintings are not waterproof by itself because watercolors can be reactivated by water and you lose colors in rain or anything. But there is a way to make them waterproof indeed. I myself make postcards and I paint them with watercolors, seal them and I can send them away as they are. I don't need an envelope or anything. They are perfectly fine when they, when they arrive. So today I'll show you how. Also there are two ways how to seal watercolor paintings. The first way is to use an acrylic fixative spray. But people may say you can use hairspray for that, but I wouldn't recommend that because hairspray can get sticky or get yellow over time. And what you need to preserve your paintings is something that doesn't become yellow because you want to keep the colors, you want to keep, to keep the painting as it is. So um, you can use fixative. Um, there are a few tutorials how to use fixative on your watercolor paintings. One of them is by Perfect Pencil and he showed that he used I believe six coats of glossy fixative and one of matte fixative on his paintings and it looked great, really great. But in another video Theo who makes amazing videos and reviews of art supplies showed that using a spray fixative is breaking up the lines of your line work if you have any in your watercolor paintings. If you don't have any, use the spray fixative as, as you want it. But it may break up the lines of your ballpoint pen sketchings or other liners. I have to admit that it looks very nice and glossy after you use it. I, ver I liked it very much in the video of Perfect Pencil. I myself use something else for that. The medium that I use keeps um, the texture of the watercolors, it keeps the painting matte, it doesn't um, make the paintings appear wet. That may also be an issue with different varnishes. What I use is wax. I rub it onto the paintings and watercolors and they stay waterproof. It also is a little bit UV resistant, it doesn't yellow and it keeps the paintings just nice and matte. I have three products that I know that would work but I only ha own two of them. I will link th all of the three uh, down below. The first product that I wanted to talk about is the Distress Micro Glaze by Ranger. It's a crafting product indeed. It says that it's made to give paintings a waterproof finish, and it does. You just take a little bit of it, rub it onto the painting, then rub it up with a paper towel, and the painting is finished. It's waterproof and it will hold water. Um, the second product is cold, uh, the Cold Wax Medium by Gamblin. And it is very, very nice. It's made for as a, co as a medium for oil paintings, but it also can be used as a finisher. It also say, says on the packaging that the cold wax medium can be applied as a matte varnish. And that's what I do. Just It's just the same with the um, Gamblin wax medium as with the Distress Glaze. You put a little bit of it, rub it onto the painting, rub it off with a paper towel and it's fine. It would be the same with the Dorland's Wax Medium. I've heard that it smelled nicer, but I don't know. I have these two and I have the Distress Glaze for years now. And um, the Gamlin Wax Medium for months. And I've used it several times on several postcards. I can't show them to you because I've sent them away, but I prepared. <laughs> The two cards that you can see now, um, that you've seen me preparing for you, 
those are like my test bunny and the test hamster that I've prepared. And as you may see, I've put water on them and I've put water droplets with a pipette on them, wrapped them all with a paper towel and where the postcards were sealed, nothing came off. There was nothing it didn't change the colors, it didn't change the texture. It had a light glossy finish, you, you can hardly see it. So, if you want to varnish or seal your watercolor paintings, that's what you could use. If you are, cra are a crafter, and I myself am crafting as well, and make cards, and sometimes I make a watercolor background, <clears throat> that I want to seal, but I also want to glue something on it. You have to glue the things on first because the glue won't hold on the vexed surface. Also, if you make mail art, that's something I've tried as well. You can varnish the envelope so the watercolor won't come off. It works very well, but you have to write the address on first and also glue on the stamp first. That's something you have to think about before sealing cards or envelopes. Or if you make mixed media, sealing is the last step you, you should take on any of those things. I hope this helps you preserving your watercolor paintings and keeping them, them nice and protected through the years. Have a creative day. Bye.